I've had quite a few requests on how'd you do that. A while ago, I made a video with this camera mounted LED light, and I had a few questions from people on how did I do this fast, spinny turnaround thing. You see my head there? The camera's mounted on a tripod. I get everything set up, and then I just duck down, let the camera settle. And then I start spinning this just smoothly and slowly all the way around. The first shot I took, I had the LED light on. I'm just down below uh, grabbing the handle on the uh, tripod and I'm just moving it with the fluid head. There's one rotation. I come along and I turn the light off and I'm, I thought, hey, let's do one without the light. Then I basically do the same thing. I have the uh, tripod on the fluid head and I'm just giving it yet another rotation. And there goes the full rotation. I'm done, I get up, and I go and turn off the camera. So basically what I have here is I have one with the light on rotation and one with the light off. I actually decided I wanted to do a rotation with the light off and the light on. So I went in here, basically found the middle, and then I cut it and then I put the one with the light on first. And then here it's the one with the light on. So I put the light off first and the light on first. I just cut it and I swap the two. Now, the trick is to find the point where I want to start. Here I'm finding the end. That's basically where I want to end, and I, I cut right there. Now I'm trying to find where I want to begin the next clip. Keep piecing it together. I'm playing it. You'll see a slight little jerk there. Um, it won't matter that much when I, I, I speed it up. You won't see it because it's, well, you'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So now I'm going to the end. I'm trying to figure out where I want to end this thing. Right. Probably right about there. And then we'll go to the clip with the light on and where I want to start. Just trying to get it all set up here. And I want to start her out there. So now I pretty much have this thing how I got want it. I'm just setting my in and out points so I can play it and it will loop back and forth. Now the, the trick to this, if you'll notice here, I'm turning on opacity. Now there's a little line there that I can grab and move up and down. As I move it down, you'll see it, you know, the opacity is more and more. What happens is being able to uh, see the speed, which is time remapping, is the same deal. If you look up in the, uh, I set them both on. If you look up in the effects controls up there, you'll see time remapping and you'll see speed. Now, it's a little different than just setting a keyframe. What you do is you turn time remapping on. So speed is now on. And then you figure out where you want to start it and you click to set a keyframe. Now what's happening there is I'm moving along to where I want to go at normal speed and I set another keyframe. Let's take a look at this and zoom in. Now I grab the left line right here as I'm showing, I'm, I'm doing that. I'm gr grab the left line. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to yank that up to a thousand percent. Of course, it's going to get smaller because it's playing faster. Now I'm going to come down to the uh, right hand side. I'm going to yank that up to a thousand percent. So in effect, what I have is I have a thousand percent speed and then it drops down to normal hundred percent and then a thousand percent speed again. That's how that looks. Now let's open this up and take a look at this. I don't want it to just drop. Like I'm going along and I'm doing a thousand percent and then it just drops. It just cliff hangs. Okay. Next frame. Boom. It just drops down. Definitely don't want that. 
So what I do is I just grab these little handles and what that does is it ramps it down, which is why it's called time remapping. It kind of smooths it down from 1000% to 100% and it's just a little more fluid. That looks pretty good. So let's uh, grab the other one and let's just do the same thing. I find out where, turn this thing around here, find out where I want to start slowing down right about there, turn on speed, hit a keyframe, and then I go to the next spot where I want to go to 100% and then speed back up, go up and hit another keyframe. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move the left side up to 1,000%, the right side up to 1,000%, and again, it just drops off. There's, there's no gradient into the uh, scaling. So I'm going to come up and grab these little handles, grab the left one and, and pull them apart and basically give it a bit of a ramp. I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, right one, give it a bit of ramp so it'll ramp up to a thousand percent and then back down. Now I didn't like where that is, so you can click in the middle and you can move this ramp wherever you want as you watch where you, you want to go and then ramp back up. This one needs a little adjustment here, a little wider to match. Okay, so we have these uh, two ramps down, ramps back up 1000% of the next one, ramps down, you can't even see the transition between the two. And let's set it on a loop and see what we got. Oops, that's part of another episode. I'll turn on looping here so we can see this goes, speeds back up, comes back down, speeds back up, loops around, speeds down, speeds up, speeds back down. That's basically how I created the effect. I wouldn't mind uh, tweaking this thing a little bit. I don't like the transition totally. It's a little jerky from one to the other right there. Doesn't look a little fluid. Okay, let's go ahead and just tweak this just a tiny bit. We'll just go back and forth between the frames. Now it's at a thousand percent, so it's it's going to go really fast. So when I go to the next frame, I could probably chop maybe a couple frames off this thing, off the second one. It'll look a little more fluid. That's probably about right there. Let's join them back together and see what we got here. All right, let's play this thing and see what we got. That's definitely more fluid. That's basically how I did this effect. And if you're interested in uh, Premiere Pro, it's the edit, my editor of choice. Uh, I would highly suggest you uh, check it out. There's a link in the description below. And if you're interested in remapping time and becoming a time lord, well, that's pretty much how you do it. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.